Hi, this is Angela from Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. Just wanted to let you know that I uploaded two new things to my Toby Dynavox's page set central. So anyone could go download these if they're interested. I went to a webinar last week, a live webinar about the motor planning page sets and several folks had asked about phonics uh, keyboards for this. And I remembered that I had seen a pretty good phonics keyboard shared out here and thought I bet I could import that and tweak it to, to fit Motor Plan 66. So that's what I've done. As the starting place, I wanted to give a shout out to Emily Miller had uploaded a Jolly Phonics keyboard and it already had um, some really good voice recordings. And so I used that at my as my starting point and then tweaked from there. So straight out of the chute, I want to let everyone know I know that some folks are totally anti-phonics keyboards. If you don't want to use a phonics keyboard, then just scroll on by because <laughs> I don't want to get into an argument. Um, I personally have found it to be helpful. Some kids I worked with really enjoyed rhyming, really enjoyed playing with letter sounds, and this also gave their team at school an easy way for them to be included. Yes, I know there's a lot more work to do on literacy skills for individuals with compact, complex communication needs. Uh, so this isn't an end-all be-all. I'm just giving a tool. If you're interested, great. If you're not, scroll on by. So there's a motor planning 66 phonics. There's a version without any pictures and then there's a version with a jolly phonics pictures. So the very first thing you would do is tap on Add to My Stuff. If you're on an iPad, that's what you need to do. If you want to download, uh, from my experience, you could do that on a Windows device and then it can download to the hard drive. Um, but I always just add it to my stuff so I have it again easy to find later. So first you'll need to do that. Then I'll show you where I added it. This is the new USA Motor Plan 66 page set within TD Snap. It's something new that was added. It didn't replace anything. There's no extra cost for it. It's included. So in order to find Motor Plan 66, you'll need to make sure you're on the most recent update for TD Snap. So do that first. Then you'll have this. It already has a keyboard. If you toggle on speak characters, then it can speak the letter names. So, D O G dog. So you already have that. You don't have to do anything. There's nothing to add. If that's all that you want, great. If you want to add phonics, where I added it is in the dashboard because I didn't want to mess up anything about the motor plan or interrupt anything out in the main bulk of the app. This is my extras place as I'm thinking about it. Anything extra, add-on. <laughs> I like to tweak and combine and uh, put my own flair on things. So here I've added the stop all sounds button, something so they can say that they're using TD Snap, TD snap the toggle the chat, uh, some prefixes and a suffix, toggles to get back and forth between motor plan 30 my core first the simplified topics page within core first um, i'm working on down here we see people sounds animal sounds transportation sounds those are using vocal smiley so that's not finished yet but i'm working on that but over here just right next to the open whiteboard is where you'll see my phonics and then phonics no symbols so here's the one that had the Jolly Phonics, and then I edited, um, deleted some extra buttons that weren't needed for just the sakes, sake of a phonics uh, experience, and then added quite a bit. So up at the top, you'll see your consonants and your short vowels. So let's say. Yeah. Yes. And let's see. 
let's see. Ah. Mm. Hen. So you see how that works. There's the backspace button, so you could delete Here. letters. H. Uh, down here at the bottom, you have your long vowels, vowel teams, digraphs. I'm not a reading expert, so if I've misnamed something or you don't agree, feel free to edit away. Add your own images. If your school's using a different phonics program and you want images that align with that, or if you're using something like Lively Letters, uh, you just could go in and you just edit. You could delete by tapping that little button, the X on the corner, and import using anything from your camera roll. Um, so the long sounds. So if I wanted to say. Oh, a play. And most of these use recorded speech. So this is an example where I added recorded speech. So you'll see recording there. If I'm in Oklahoma and I may have an accent that doesn't match someone in your area, if that's the case, or the other recorded sounds from the person who originally created this, um, you can delete those by tapping that little trash can there next to recording and you could record your own. So totally customizable. Down. This over here, is where you see to the left of long vowels that where the E with the top hat and the magic wand, that's the silent E. So if I wanted to say A and how I did that Cake. is that one has re a recording that's silent, like the shortest silent recording I could come up with is the only way I could figure out how to do that. Then I go back over to home, clear, dashboard. Here's what the version where I deleted all of those pictures and this is just text, just letters and the digraphs, etc., on the buttons. The top buttons, they're all in the same spot as the ones that you just saw. The color coding on the top matches the button color coding here within Motor Planning 66. The other color coding is something I just thought looked visually helpful, but if you don't want them color coded that way, again, it's totally editable. You can go in, go into style, go into color, and you have lots and lots of options. And what's super cool, you can even create your own custom color. So you can make it match whatever color coding system you may use uh, at your school or homeschooling. Um, anyway, I'll go give you a quick look at back over in here. I added an alert bell. Uh, here's some of the sounds that I'm working on for vocal smileys. So like there's a laughing sound. <laughs> Though that's the Ella voice. These are voice specific, language specific uh, to acapella high quality voices. But I find them quite helpful and kids really enjoy having uh, some extra sounds. So if you think something's boring. <laughs> anyway, those are still a work in progress, but I hope this helps and feel free to message me on my Amazing Kids AAC Consulting Facebook page if you have any questions.